Hey, Mimi. How's it going? Are you back from class yet? Hey, Asia. Not yet. I'm sitting in the quad studying for this Genesis exam. Oh, you'll do fine. You know the Old Testament like the back of your hand. I don't know. We'll see. I hear that Father Duke is a stickler when it comes to the essays. Oh, you'll do fine. I don't know. Maybe a Christian college isn't for me, Asia. I did have a lot of that in high school. Well, what are you going to do? Transfer out into the world with all those sinners and evildoers? I don't know. I'm just frustrated. Well, you simply can't do that, memes. Your soul will be at risk, don't you know? Right. I guess so. So, um, are you working at the bookstore later? Well, yeah. I always do it for a few hours on Wednesdays. Oh, good. Um, Wolf's coming over to the dorms tonight, and I was wondering if you could get him some Sour Patch Kids while you're there? Asia, Wolf isn't even supposed to be in our dorms, and now you want me to buy him snacks? You know what they say about these locals. Once you feed them, they never go away. Oh, come on. Wolfie's really nice. His dad owns his own company here, and the family is, like, really well respected. Why do they call him Wolf, anyway? That's his name, Thomas Wolfenstein III. Pretty cool, huh? I suppose in some quarters, yes. Well, I mean, you like him, don't you? He's okay, I guess. We never had boys like that back in our towns, did we? Back in our high schools? <laughs> yeah, and I think I see why now. What, are you saying he's dirty or something? I'm just saying be careful. Hey, I know what I'm doing. I've been on a mission trip. I can save him, okay? Is he interested in being saved? Well, I don't know. Maybe. I haven't exactly felt that out yet, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So, you guys are... Well, no, not yet. But I think it may happen at any time now. So, you're okay with sex before marriage? Oh, come on, Mimi. It's 2023. Even we get to have a little fun every once in a while. I mean, haven't you ever? Well, no. I mean, I've made out with a couple of guys, but that's it. Well, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I didn't say I was ashamed of it. I'm just saying, you should be free and open to express yourself. Have fun. Don't worry about these old fuddy-duddies in the church. We can please the Lord and ourselves, can't we? Well, I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I guess I just want to wait and make sure that it's someone special. Someone that I love, you know what I mean? Oh, well, yes, I suppose so. Do you love Wolfie? Wolfie? <laughs> no. Wolfie and I are just having a good time. Well, he certainly does seem to enjoy having a good time. Oh, he does. He's been introducing me to all sorts of things. Like not knocking on doors before you go in? What? What do you mean? I always knock on your door before I come in. I wasn't referring to you. Well, who were you referring to? Angelina? Michelle? Brandy? No, Asia. I'm talking about wolves. Wolf? Well, in what context? In the context of him barging into my room without knocking the other day and a few days before that. He did? You didn't tell me that. Well, the first time I figured it was just an accident. He hadn't been to our building many times, so maybe he thought it was the bathroom, but then he did it again. Well, he probably just wasn't thinking. He just forgot it all. Really? I don't know. That's a weird thing to forget about. Well, so what? Were you naked or something? Well, no. I was just studying at my desk both times, but... Well, then what's the big deal? He didn't see anything you didn't want him to see, so no harm, no foul, right? Well, not really, Asia. It's an intrusion. Oh, lighten up, Mimi. He's just a boy. What, are you afraid of them or something? No, I'm not afraid of him. Well, this all wouldn't be a problem if the university would just let us have locks on our doors, for God's sake. I think maybe they don't want things happening, like, well... Like what? Well, like this, like you sneaking a townie into your room at night. <laughs> well, I guess a little thing like a lock on a door didn't stop me now, did it? I guess not. Or him. But could you just maybe mention it to him? Well, what do you want me to say? That one of my prudish roommates would like you to be super duper careful about doors from now on? Sure, say that. That would be nice. Say whatever you want. I just don't want a strange guy barging into my room like the Kool-Aid guy, okay? All right, all right, I'll mention it to him tonight. Oh, great, he's coming over tonight. I almost forgot. Well, don't forget the Sour Patch Kids and get some really hard ones if you can. Hard ones? Yeah, he likes them to be hard, not the really soft ones, so 
feel around on the rack for a good one, will you please? Fine, Asia, no problem. Hey, Mimi, what's up? Are you in Bible class or something? Um, hi, who is this? It's Wolf, you know, Asia's, um, friend. What do you want, Wolf? How did you even get my number? I got it from Asia's phone. Chill out. Does she know that you're texting me? Well, no. So what? What's the big deal? I don't really think this is appropriate. Hey, would you relax already? I just wanted to apologize to you. Oh, is that so? And what are you apologizing for? For what happened last night. I'm really sorry. I, I don't know how that happened. You don't know how you walked into the wrong room, into my room, again? No, I guess I just keep getting confused with the bathroom or something. I mean, what's the big deal? It's not like you were naked or anything. Well, not completely. <laughs> I wasn't naked at all, and you know it. And you better not tell anyone otherwise. Do you hear me? Yes, yes, I hear you. But if you had come in three seconds earlier, I wouldn't have been, all right? I know, I know, you said. I'm sorry. So is that why you keep doing it? Why? What do you mean? You just want to see me naked, is that it? No, but why are you offering? <laughs> oh, please, in your dreams. You know, we get a really interesting mix of girls who come into our little town to go to that school of yours. Oh, is that so? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd think they'd be just a bunch of prudish girls. The nature of the school and all, but you'd be surprised. Oh, I would, would I? Oh, yeah. Some of y'all are real cray-cray. Uh, please don't say cray cray. And that's the other thing though, some of them are like you. And how is that? How am I? Well, you gotta stick up your butt the size of the Florida panhandle. Nice, real nice. Asia's laughing, she liked that line. Oh, so you're hanging out with Asia again, huh? In our dorm? Maybe, maybe not. You know you aren't supposed to be in there, right? Oh, I'm not, am I? No, it's against the campus dorm rules. Well, what are you going to do? Tell on us? No, I'm not a snitch, but some of the other girls there probably will. Believe it or not, a lot of them are a lot more prudish than you think I am. What's up with that, anyway? What do you mean? I mean, why do so many of y'all always act like nuns? Oh, come on, we do not act like nuns. Well, not all of us. Your little girlfriend certainly doesn't. <laughs> that she doesn't. You seriously better be careful. Those people don't mess around. What, you think this is the first time I've picked up a girl from your school or snuck on campus? Please, I'm a local. Yeah, we can all tell. Oh, and how's that? Nothing, never mind. Oh, what, you're saying I'm a redneck or something, city girl? No, I never said anything like that. You're projecting, maybe. Just some good old boy from the sticks. Wait, I I'm doing what? Nothing, never mind. Damn, I've been with a lot of girls from your school over the years, but never met one like you. What do they put in the water up there in... Where are you from again? None of your business. Ohio. It's a fun little town. You aren't invited. Well, if you live there, I don't doubt that. So how old are you anyway? I mean, that you've been picking up girls at this school for years. Well, I'm... 22, of course. 22? Really? With that double chin? What? Hey! Come on, tell me the truth. Okay, okay, I'm... 24, okay? The jowls say otherwise. All right, I'm 30. I'm 30. Are you happy? I'm 30. Aha! I knew it was something like that. So what? What's the big deal? Are you ageist or something? No, but I don't necessarily think it's very cool for you to be sneaking into a 20-year-old dorm window, do you? That was a rhetorical question, if you know what that means. Shut up. Do you know what that means? Look, just stay out of my room, okay? Is that so freaking hard? And is it so freaking hard to put a lock on your door? We aren't allowed to have locks on our doors. Didn't Asia tell you that? Well, how about you put a chair against the door or at least put a sign on the door? I don't have to. I don't have to do any of that. It's my room, not yours, not anyone else's. So just stay out, okay? Well, if I can remember. If you can remember. Maybe I'll go in there right now and take a look around. I mean, it being unlocked and all. You wouldn't. Why not? Do you think Asia's going to stop me? Don't go in there, Wolf. Bye bye Mimi. Talk to you later. Or maybe, see you later.
Hey, Mimi. Hey, Asia. What's up? So, like, what's your deal anyway? Um, sorry, I don't think I'm sure what you mean. Uh, well, I mean, why are you hitting on my boyfriend? Uh, what are you even talking about? I'm talking about you hitting on Wolf. He told me all about it. Don't deny it. Okay, Asia, I don't know what he told you, but I can assure you I did not hit on him. Oh, so he's just lying? Does he seem like a guy that would lie about something like that? Well, actually, yes, definitely. No way. Why would he make up something like that? I don't know. Probably just to sow some more chaos. Plus, it was kind of the other way around. What do you mean? I mean, I think it's more him hitting on me. What? Whatever. No, he wasn't. Well, I don't know. It kind of felt like it to me. Well, how would you know what it feels like? What? You don't think I've ever been hit on before? I'm not saying that. You're a very pretty girl. Oh, well, thank you very much. But you're way too much of a goody two-shoes to ever do anything about it. Ugh, this again. Look, I don't want to be like you, Asia, so stop trying to make me. Well, what do you mean? How am I? Honest? Well, yeah. You're the kind of girl who's been repressed your whole life, and now that you're on your own, you're going crazy. And honey, let me tell you, it is not a good look. I'm just being myself. I can't worry about what my school thinks, about what you think. I'm not judging you. I just don't want a wolf in my room. Oh, you are such a prude. You really need to stop saying that. And why should I? Because it's not true. Oh, you're not a prude? Oh, please. You're the biggest prude in the dorm. You don't know me. You don't know where I'm from or who I was. Oh, well, who were you? None of your business. Well, then why did you bring it up at all if you weren't going to tell me? Just to make you live in doubt. To make you live in fear. Come on, Mimi, tell me. Just know that I'm not as uncomfortable in my own skin as you'd like to think. Oh, really? Is that so? Well, you always look uncomfortable. Well, maybe you'll find out one day, but I am most certainly not a prude. Do you understand? Well, maybe you should tell that to Wolf. That's probably the reason he's into you. What do you mean? You know, because you're a goody two-shoes, little Miss Perfect, Holy, and Righteous. If you want him off your back, you should just prove it. And how do you expect me to do that? What, you think I care? You two are really weird. Oh, just shut up, Mimi. You know what? You belong at this judgmental school. Because that's all you are, is judgmental. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone you know. Oh, believe me, I am certainly not sinful, and I don't know where I belong either. I really hope that I find out someday, but I know where I don't belong. And where is that, Mimi? Anywhere close to your creepy boyfriend. Whatever, you are of course just jealous. And why would I be jealous? Because you've never had a boyfriend, at least not a real boyfriend. You don't know anything about me, Asia, so just stop it. Whatever, Mimi, I have to go. Or should I say, we have to go? And where are the two lovebirds off to now? He's taking me to meet his family. Isn't that exciting? Oh, boy. And guess what? His sister is an exotic dancer. Can you believe it? I kind of can, yeah. Wow. Mimi the prude, back at it. Prude, huh? And Wolf likes prudes. Forbidden fruit, I guess. Hmm. Well, we'll see you later, doll. <laughs> so he'll be at the dorms tonight, too? Well, maybe. Okay, then. See you two later. Mimi, what the hell do you think you're doing? What? What do you mean? I mean, what kind of a stunt did you just pull? What was that? Do you care to explain? I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't play dumb with me. I know what all of that was about. You're going to have to be a little more specific. I am talking about you lying on your bed naked and exposing yourself to my boyfriend. That's what. Hey, he's the one that just barged in on me. It's my room. I was just doing what I wanted to do. The door is unlocked. As a matter of fact, there is no lock. Anyone could just walk in and you have no problem just sitting around in the nude. Well, you said I should do something non-prudish, so I did. Did it work? Is he freaked out? He doesn't know what to think. He doesn't know whether you did it on purpose or by accident. He said you just stared at him. Well, what do you want me to do? Go screaming for my clothes? He's already seen what he saw. The damage was done. Whatever. You knew what you were doing. And suppose I did. I would have gotten the idea from you. What idea? I don't have any ideas. I never do. 
You said that if I proved to him that I wasn't some naive innocent, that all interest in me would cease. Well, yeah, maybe. So, so what? Well, did it work? Well, he's not talking. He's just sitting here looking kind of freaked out. What's the matter? He's never seen a naked woman before? Well, I guess he's just not used to being around one so provocative. Honestly, Mimi, I had no idea you were like this. Like what? What do you mean, Asia? Like that you just expose yourself to random men. Well, hey, I'm not ashamed of my body. I am as God made me, right? I guess so, but I guess you proved me wrong. So are you still going over to meet his family? I know you were very excited about meeting that exotic dancer. Um, I don't know. Maybe, it, maybe it's not such a good idea anymore. I'll have to think about it. Oh, why's that? Well, um, we have finals coming up. Plus, I don't know. This whole thing is just kind of getting too weird. Honestly, I don't know if I can see him again knowing that he's seen you naked. Well, if you want, I can see him naked. Maybe that will make you feel better. Want to ask? Um, no thanks, Mimi. I don't think that would be such a good idea. Oh, well, maybe next time. Are you sure you're okay, Mimi? Why? Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. You're just acting a little freaky deaky is all. Hey, don't be a prude. Asia soon had a change of heart and devoted herself fully to her studies at the college. She never again dated a townie boy and stuck to the safe, boring ones around campus. Mimi, however, discovered through all of this that in fact she wasn't a prude, and soon she met a townie herself, albeit a very nice and normal one. She eventually transferred to the local college to study English literature and work at a coffee shop. After Asia dumped Wolfie, he had a nervous breakdown. The word was out on him and he couldn't get any more dates at the college. After a long stint in a mental health clinic, he began experimenting with ayahuasca and eventually shaved his head and became the first and only street monk the town had ever seen. He's currently selling pencils from cups by the visitor's center.